Understanding King's Edict, a dive into historical phrases. Hello, dear viewers. Today we're going to explore a fascinating historical phrase that has shaped laws and societies, the King's Edict. Whether you're a history buff, a language enthusiast, or just curious, this video will unveil the significance of this term in an easy-to-understand way. So, let's embark on this linguistic journey together. An edict is an official order or proclamation issued by a person in authority. It's like a command that has to be followed by the people. Historically, edicts were given by rulers, such as kings or emperors, and they had the power of law. Understanding the concept of an edict is essential to grasp the full meaning of the phrase, King's Edict. In the phrase, King's Edict, the word, King, isn't just a title. It signifies absolute power and authority. A King's Edict was not just any command. It was the ultimate order that had to be obeyed by everyone in the kingdom. It reflected the king's will and was often used to establish laws, levy taxes, or declare war. The King's Edict holds great historical significance. It tells us about the governance and legal systems of the past. For instance, the Edict of Milan or the Edict of Nantes were significant proclamations that affected religious freedoms and civil rights in their times. Such edicts have left an indelible mark on history and are crucial for understanding the evolution of modern laws and rights. The phrase, King's Edict, has also left a legacy in the English language. It is used metaphorically to describe any authoritative command and has influenced other phrases like, rule with an iron fist, or the law of the land. It's a testament to how historical concepts can continue to influence our language and culture. I hope this video has given you insight into the powerful phrase, King's Edict, and the weight it carries in both history and language. If you enjoyed learning about this, please like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing linguistic explorations. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.